Hi, I'm Allie from the Terra team, and today I'm going to walk through how to get data from the Gen 3 platform into your Terra workspace for analysis. Before starting your analysis, it's always a good idea to check the status of your data authorization on Terra. You can do that from the top left main menu in the drop down the profile page. All your linked data authorizations are here on the right column, the identity and external servers. Ones that are linked will have the link expiration like this one. If there's no link expiration, you'll want to go to the Gen3 platform and log in Researchers will always want to use your NIH login, the Researcher Auth Services, here at the top. I'm a developer, so I'll use my BDC developer login. Once you're logged into Gen3, you can go back to your Terra profile and click the link in the Identity and External Servers to link your account. You'll be redirected to the login page. Terra will recognize whatever mechanism you use to log into Gen 3. You'll see you have a link expiration date right here. Remember, links expire after 15 days. Once you have your link, it's time to return to the Gen 3 platform to select the data you want. From the Exploration tab, you can use the faceted searches on the left to search by project, subject, or harmonized variable. I'm going to look for a particular project, an open source tutorial we've developed. Make sure you check your data to select it. You'll see the number of subjects in the data set you've chosen here at the top right. Once you have that, you're ready to export it to Terra. Gen3 will export all the data that's associated with the subjects you've chosen. You'll click on this red Export All to Terra button. You'll get a warning message while the export's in progress. Could take a few minutes depending on how much data you have. When the export is complete, you'll be redirected to this page to choose your destination workspace in Terra. You can start with a new workspace, an existing workspace, or a template. Click on the blue Import button. You'll need to give your workspace a name. and select a billing project. If you're working with controlled access data, you'll want to set an authorization domain to protect anything you generate in the workspace. Click Clone and Import. And Terra will redirect you to the Data tab of the workspace. You'll get a banner while your data is being imported. This could take a few minutes. If you refresh the page, you'll see a number of data tables. Each represents a different node in the Gen3 platform. Clicking on one, you can see the data in that node. The lab results include high-density lipoproteins and low-density lipoproteins, for example. Thanks for watching. You can find more help at support.terra.bio. We hope you enjoy your analysis on the cloud in Terra.